US President Joe Biden heads home to disunity here in the US and the threat of midterm elections. Really, he displayed, at least on the surface, unity with allies uh, in East Asia. Finishing off uh, his Asia tour, his first uh, of his presidency in the Republic of Korea and Japan, with a meeting of the so-called Quad, the quadrilateral strategic uh, grouping that is, of course, Japan uh, and Australia, India and the US. And at least on the surface, uh, really highlighting uh, this grouping, which essentially is designed to push back on China, pledging to uh, keep the sea lanes open in the East China Sea, the South China Sea, also rhetoric about supply chain uh, moving away from certain areas. Yes, China is part of that. Uh, closer integration when it comes to uh, pandemic responses, uh, worries, of course, about the Ukraine war. That was featuring uh, very heavily. And in fact, uh, Joe Biden had a separate meeting with the Prime Minister of India, uh, Narendra Modi, because, as you know, uh, they do not see eye to eye, and India has not imposed Western-led uh, sanctions, continues to buy Russian oil, and has a close relationship with Moscow. We'll see if there's any movement from New Delhi, but it's unlikely given uh, their strategic uh, needs in the region. Also, uh, obviously, it was the first chance to see uh, in the region uh, the uh, a new president of the Republic of Korea and also, of course, the new Prime Minister of Australia, uh, Anthony Albanese, uh, really uh, uh, having a baptism fire in the region. Although he committed to the controversial AUKUS deal, uh, which, of course, uh, could see nuclear submarines uh, uh, come to Australia's shores, we, it's, it's too early days. And we do expect a dampening down of uh, the uh, rhetoric, at least, towards China uh, from Canberra. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington.